Mastermind.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be discussing the topic of magic methods again, which as we learned in our constructors lesson, is a special type of method in PHP. We're going to be specifically getting into a little more details about what magic methods actually are in PHP. Uh, we've used them before when we talked about a constructor, that's a magic method in PHP, but now we're going to sort of provide a more formal definition of that. We're going to talk about uh, what are known as destructors, which uh, in PHP is a special uh, ma magic method. Then we're going to talk about um, three different uh, magic methods in PHP, underscores to string, underscore get, and underscore set. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about the concept of access modifiers, <coughs> which relates to um, uh, declaring, for example, all of our properties and, and functions so far have had the public keyword uh, listed before them. So we're going to talk a little bit more about why that is and how we're going to change that. And then in general, um, we're going to finish up talking or we're going to finish up talking about uh, using getters and setters in general, which are ways to get and set properties of a particular object. So in PHP, any any method that basically starts with with this, which is a double underscore. Uh, are known as magic methods. And basically, uh, anytime you create an object or, or a class file, you shouldn't create any methods that begin uh, with an underscore um, because PHP sort of reserves the right to, in the future, um, use those as magic methods. In particular, you wouldn't want to name, for example, we know construct is a magic method. So you wouldn't want to define your own construct method um, in a PHP class unless you're actually planning on using it as a constructor because otherwise PHP um, is going to uh, treat it as a constructor and it's not going to be able, it's not going to be something you could sort of run on your own. Magic methods are special in that they're basically, they're automatically um, called by PHP. For example, we know a constructor, uh, whenever you use a new statement, for example, new item, pass it some data, uh, this construct method is implicitly called by PHP. It's automatically called by PHP. And that's why you don't want to name methods uh, construct because then, for example, if you had an item object, you wouldn't really be able to call that construct method. Uh, and there are a number of different magic methods that are available um, to objects in PHP. And we're going to be talking about um, uh, a number of those different ones that are available in today's lesson. So first of all, I want to talk about a concept of a destructor. It's sort of the um, analog to a constructor. A constructor is called automatically when a new instance of an object is created. Now, on the other hand, when an object, when an instance of an object is destroyed, uh, which means that it essentially means that it's being no longer being used anymore, uh, there's a you can have a method called the destructor that's called, and basically what that sort of does is it's used to uh, clean up any object state. Um, before the object is essentially destroyed. So for example, maybe you have some open files um, that were used by a particular object. Uh, by having this destructor method that always gets called, and it's something that if you define it always gets called um, automatically by PHP, uh, then you can ensure that all your files will always be closed, which is um, a good practice so that you don't have file locking issues and stuff like that. That's just one particular example, but it basically allows you to do any sort of, um, allows you to run any code that you'd like to run every time um, an object is sort of destroyed before it, its lifetime ends. Um, and it's automatically called any time an object is no longer being used. So for example, uh, when the script ends, or if an object is um, explicitly set to not be used, which means you, you can call the unset method or you explicitly set it to null. That's basically telling PHP you don't need that object anymore. When that occurs, the destructor is automatically called. In PHP, destructors are magic methods, and they have a, a name similar to construct, except it's double underscore destruct. Um, and it's within this method that you can define uh, any uh, operations or, or code that you'd like to occur whenever an object um, is destroyed or is, gets destructed by PHP. Um, so, for example, let's take a look at, um, we have a, a class here called data file that we're going to sort of be building up um, during this lecture. And what data file is, is a class that's going to sort of encapsulate um, all the things that we do for a file. For example, we um, use fopen, fclose, and fwrite to open, write, and close a particular file. But what we're going to do is we're sort of going to wrap that functionality into this object called data file. And what we're going to do 
for example, is for each data file object, we're going to give it a file name and an access mode. And then what you can do is after you create this data file object, you can run the open, an open function on it, which we're going to see. Then you can um, run a write operation on it and a close operation on it. And basically those open and close operations are calling um, basically underneath, underneath the service contained within the object's um, code, um, these f open, f gets, f close methods and so forth. Um, so that's what our data file um, class is going to be used for, is to represent um, uh, access to a data file. Uh, in this first version, we're just going to give it one property called a public property called file name. And as you can see here, we have our function, our constructor function, which is a magic, a magic method um, that takes one parameter and it basically just sets the value of our file name property. Um, we also have an echo statement here, and this is going to be used to kind of show how PHP is working behind the scenes. That basically just says, "Okay, we're in the data file constructor." And then here's a new magic method, the destruct method. Um, and it just simply um, outputs a message that says we're in the destructor. Um, we're actually going to be uh, improving on this so that this destructor method will actually close any open files that we may have open. But for now, we're just going to output a message so you can see at what point during a particular script uh, the destructor gets called. So for example, um, we include our data file class in this particular script called destructor.php. Um, we output a message that says um, before the object is created, then we call the instructor, and call the constructor, uh, which is implicitly going to call the construct method. So we should see an output message, that output message from our construct method we defined. Then we output a message stating that this is the last statement in the script, and then the script ends. And then what we should notice, or will notice, is that actually another statement gets output. It's the statement that's saying we're in the destructor, because when the script ends, basically the lifetime of this data file object that we created in the script is no more and it's going to be destroyed and so PHP automatically calls the destruct method. So if we run this particular um, uh, version of destructor.php we can see we have a, a statement but this is before the object is created. Uh, the next thing that happens is you're inside the constructor then you can see that we execute the last statement in the script and yet, even though we've executed the last statement in the script, we actually have another, um, out, another piece of output, and it says inside the data file destructor. So that shows you that when that script ends, um, if any objects are still, um, haven't been destroyed yet, they actually, destructors still get called. And so code is actually even running, even though we're not in the script anymore. Um, an alternative version to that is, um, here we have the same data file class in this new version, but what we're gonna do is instead, um, we're going to say the out, uh, output the message that says this is before the object is created. We're going to call its constructor, and then we're going to explicitly destroy the object by null, which uh, by setting it equal to null, which, as we mentioned um, uh, on the slide, is essentially going to call that destruct method because the object exists no more. So what's going to happen is because the destructor gets called here, that message that says you're in the destructor is going to get output before we actually get to this last. Um, output statement within our script. So the order of those last two statements are going to change. So if we go over here to uh, version 2 of this, now we can see um, the output before the object is created, we're inside the constructor, we're inside the destructor, and then we execute the last statement in the script. And the reason that in data file destructor doesn't occur afterwards as well is because the object has already been destroyed. It's already um, had its destruct method called, and it was called when we set it equal to null. So here, in this case, when the last statement of the script ends, the script actually um, ends in that particular case, and no destructors get called. Oops. 